it's been so great for me to be here every day and make these videos to help you in your healing journey and to help you move forwards to getting pain free this is it this is really the system that I have followed to help me really move from having chronic debilitating pain to being pain free getting back to the gym and getting my life back and if you've joined this program I can only guess that what you've been doing for months or years has not been working for you. It hasn't been giving you the long-term relief, you know, because that's what you need. We'd, we're really sick and tired of getting short-term relief. We use all of the these tools and we go to treatments and we do we try all different things that we hear about and they only give us short-term relief for a few hours or a few days and then we have to do it over again. I was sick of it. I wanted a system that I could rely on and that I could finally take control Control of the pain and take control of how my body responds to things you know and uh, that's why I want to I've been sharing with you through these videos the things that I've been doing I realized that it's hard work it's not easy right it's not like just swallowing the purple pill and then the pain will go away for a few hours this takes some work not too much work but it does take a little bit of uh, persistence and consistency so that you can see the results but I can promise you that the results are really worth the time you know you're you're building a system that you can rely on and that will work for you for life you can really do this for life to keep the pain under control and to empower you to accomplish amazing things so today I want to take everything that I've talked about since day one and I want to help you create a routine for yourself it can be a five to ten minutes routine but this routine will help you get the pain under control uh, with everyday things that you'll be doing that are specific to you so so I will be just coaching you to create the routine but everything that's inside the routine is specific to you and um, and this will really help you get the pain under control know exactly where you're going know how much you're improving how, what's working what's not working so by now you should have all of your goals all set you should know exactly what you want to get in the next six months and how much you want to accomplish uh, when it comes to all of your health and fitness goals and you also also want to have all of your affirmations written down and you want to also have the daily activities that you will be doing also written down you want to just figure out those things you don't have to go into full detail but you just want to have an idea so the first thing is to have a morning or an evening ritual I personally have a morning ritual just because I I can get up around uh, 6 30 so I wake up early I have that extra 30 minutes to do my morning ritual but I realize that a lot of people have to get really early up for work and they don't have that much time so you can totally do this in the evening so the morning ritual is really just a check-in with your body and with how you are feeling so right after you get up if you want to have breakfast first then you can do that but then you want to just sit in a quiet place and you want to check in with your body see if you feel any tightness anywhere if you are feeling spasms pain inflammation and you want to quickly just write it down you know very quickly very briefly and then right after that you want to start reading your affirmations while you are in that quiet space and avoid like checking in social media or doing you know watching tv when you do this exercise because you want to give it your full concentration and your full attention it's really very important so you want to uh, as you read your affirmations you want to really feel them and feel how they how amazing they make you feel inside and how much you are looking forward to achieving them so that is the first thing that you do and then if you have time then proceed to do some form of movement you can do um, some stretches you can do some core uh, workouts I do have some five minute core activations on YouTube so if you just want to do those it's five minutes that's all it takes you know get your your core moving just do anything that could move your body that morning you know and then right after that you can go uh, along with your day and then if you're doing this in the evening you can do the same thing again find quiet place re do the, every single thing that I just talked about and then you can also follow up by writing down what you've eaten that day you know in the morning I had this and that in the uh, on lunch I had that and I actually felt really energized in the evening I ate this I didn't feel that great you know very quickly it takes a minute and then that's it you know if you want to also uh, perhaps 
keep a, a journal with you during the day if you don't mind just writing things down as they come like for example um, meals or how you feel about yourself or if you had a flare up in the middle of the day you can just write it down I do have a free meal planner for you that you can uh, either download or you can just print you can also fill it up on the PDF as well if you prefer to like enter your meals and things that you've eaten or even plan out your meals for the week but I personally don't like to meal plan that much just because I eat the same things every single day so I know exactly what I'm gonna be eating it's always been the same stuff that has worked for me so I usually just write down what I ate or if I ate something unusual I will write it down as well and then you need a weekly ritual this is something that you do once a week and it's basically just going through all of your daily rituals and seeing if there are any patterns that you can see. Say you have coffee every morning at 10 a.m. and then right after that you feel really bad and you have this pain in your pelvic area and you get bloating and then after that you know you get some inflammation and that happens every single morning right? If it was if it, you weren't tracking it you wouldn't probably notice but now that you can see that you notice a pattern like oh my gosh you know I may have some sensi sensitivity to either coffee or dairy and you take that out you reduce it you have tea and the problem solved. So it's all about looking at those patterns and you don't see them right away but you're gonna start seeing them after completing the daily rituals for a week you know and then by the end of the week you are going to start seeing those patterns and when it comes to treatment and when it comes to everything that you're doing including these rituals you are going to check in with yourself every four to six weeks you know just sit down look at everything you've been doing including that ritual that you've made for yourself. Look at your treatments, look at your medication, that if you're taking medication, the supplements, everything, and figure out what is working and what is not working. Because if you're doing more of what's not working, you're gonna keep getting the same results that you're getting right now, and that's not helping you, and really you're pretty much investigating the pain right like you're taking matters into your own hand and you're investigating what's wrong with you because I was so sick and tired of you know just putting it all in on my doctor's hands and just trusting that they will fix me somehow and that just didn't happen every time I went they will write me a new prescription and then next right so it is your responsibility to do this work and you can really do it at your own pace whenever you have the time but unless you change your mindset about it you know and then you actually take control of it and tell yourself that you made the decision to get better and then that's it that is it you are getting better and you're gonna figure it out no matter what happens because when you have chronic pain I mean you would notice this yourself I would be completely pain-free for a few days and then out of nowhere I would have the worst flare up and I can't even get up the bed and I have no idea what caused it because I don't know right I don't track my what I do and I have no idea what could have caused this whole pain and response that your body is giving you so by having a routine and then by knowing exactly what you're doing you take control you take control of everything you take control of your body you take control of what you're putting into your body and as a result you take control of how your body responds as well as the pain so when something happens and you do get the pain you know you're like oh I did something let me go back let me check let me check in with myself and let me see what I've done and this is exactly what has helped me be pain-free 99% of the time like I can't say 100% because we're human beings right like we get pains and aches it's normal but I, I can go to the gym now I can you know just live normally that's all I've always wanted just to live like a normal person I don't have to feel scared that I'm that I want to go hiking or that I want to go camping or travel to another country but now at least I I know exactly what's working for me and I'm just doing the same stuff I am you know it's a proven system for me I follow the same steps every single day and Mind you, every single time I have deviated from this path or, you know, like I've, I've been to uh, an event or I did something different and I got a response from my body that was not, like that was a little bit negative, like I would either feel pain, inflammation, or I just feel, you know, like exhausted. I know. I'm like, okay, I am aware I did that. It's okay. It's going to take me a couple of days. I'm going to re recover. But at least I know what has caused it and I can avoid that over time 
So this is what this gives you. It gives you the power to control the pain and everything else. So even though this is the last day of the challenge, it's only the beginning. If you need help at any point, you can always contact me. I try uh, my best to respond to all my emails as soon as possible, but I do respond. I am so honored that you took the time to attend these uh, coaching sessions with me and I really sincerely hope that they have helped you at least figure out what's going on or you know, map a, a better routine for yourself.